Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, what is up with your energy? I like your vibe, Scorpio, because you're that sort of regenerative energy, right? Mm. The ebb and flow energy. Okay, Scorpio, that was interesting. So what's up with you? 38, you will only see the way by making the way. Yes, look at that. Indiana Jones type energy here. Scorpio, ever the explorer, but I like this. Scorpio the Explorer. So what's up here, Scorpios? Ooh, what, what's your sort of inspiration, Scorpio? Ooh, you're going to be blazing trails, uh, creating your own paths. There's a lot of sort of opportunities with you. Scorpio, some of you may take a little diversion, maybe take a little longer route with this. I like it. Some of you sort of enjoy it. It's fun and interesting. There is a guiding light energy with you. So some of you, if you got Sagittarian in your charts, whatever this vibe is, you're going to like it. Very inspirational. So Scorpio, be inspired. Covering this, you got the Knight of Pentacles there in the moon card. Uh, uh, there could be some sort of mud energy. So Scorpio, some of you, it could be a little uh, slow moving, right? Hmm. Some of you, if you got Pisces anywhere in your chart, that could sort of bring the switch up with you. Eight of Swords. Well, the Emperor here and the Seven of Wands wanted to come out together. Ooh, some of you, that could be a transit or a Mercury uh, sort of energy with you. I feel like that's uh, like astrological. Ooh, there's that Empress energy. Uh oh, you got Emperor, Empress, and then here you got this Tower energy. Ooh, transformation within you. Damn, Scorpio, some of you could definitely be filling that yin-yang pool. Ooh, what's, what's between the Emperor and the Empress energy? The Three of Wands. Yeah, is it romantic? I don't know, some of you, I feel like this is that sort of inspiration energy with you. Damn, what's inspiring you, Scorpios? I still feel like some of you want to join a competition or do something. There's something you want to do that you need to do. This sort of creative energy with you. Uh, your moon placement could be of importance to you, or you're being drawn. It's like you're being sort of drawn, inspired by something. This is very particular to you too, Scorpio. Because between that tower and the eight of swords is this five of pentacle energy. Damn, there is something that you are good at. I feel like there's a talent, there's a gift, there's something you need to sort of get out there and present to the world. Because it's going to make all the difference. Damn, your flexibility is absolutely amazing. But my, oh my. It feels like someone wants to sort of keep you stuck, though. So, Scorpio, whatever this is for you, this, this, this could be what sort of brings in that, if there's any sort of tension or sort of conflict going on between you and a, relationship or you and a partnership sort of coming together or working together is that sort of uh, it's like your uniqueness i feel like there's something you need to do uh you're just like all inspired but you never sort of get the opportunity to kind of do your thing right damn scorpios Bottom of the deck here, the Four Swords, the Star. What do you dream about? What's your sort of inspiration? The Knight of Swords, here's the Hierophant. There's the Five of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Judgment to the King. My, oh my. So, Scorpio, some of you, this if you're in a relationship or partnership and there's not really... Uh, Someone isn't really expressing what they really want to do. There's like a, an, an inspiration here. <laughs> really, Kitty? It's like one of two things. This is either your sort of yin-yang energy coming in or some of you, a relationship or partnership. Because someone isn't really like authentically being themselves. Someone isn't authentically sort of uh, doing what they need to be doing. 
So some of you, this switch up can't happen. This sort of connection can't happen until some of y'all sort of uh, focus on what's important to you. Some of you, this is elevation energy. So some of you could want to be uh, a little more dominant. This could come down to somebody wanting to uh, uh, change jobs or switch things up, right? But someone else sort of... It's almost like someone else wants to sort of suppress that part of you, Scorpio, right? If it's a relationship or partnership, it's kind of that. If this is just you, Scorpio, focused on you, this is that sort of yin-yang energy coming in. Damn, why, what's, what's this attraction with you? I don't know. Scorpio, some of you might find it a little embarrassing or you're having a hard time sort of expressing this. Maybe your partner thinks this is embarrassing, whatever it is you want to do. If you're dealing with a partner, that could be the issue. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be your partner. If you're not dealing with the partner, this could just be you sort of figuring out what the fuck your vibe is. It's good uh, masculine feminine energy. So, damn. There's definitely an opportunity coming in, but it's going to be very interesting with you. How about the Hierophant card here? This could be your spirituality, right? Maybe some of y'all want to go to church or you want to sort of bring religion uh, into your relationship or partnership. Some of you, I feel like this is an opportunity and you're just... Someone's too shy to sort of take the, uh, take the initiative, especially if there's something you've been wanting to do. Some of you taking classes, some of you apply for a job. Uh, some of you, it could be as simple as uh, uh, doing some sort of uh, audition or some sort of contest, whatever whatever your sort of vibe is, right? I mean, fuck, for some of you, this could be with video games, right? Whatever sort of competitive energy is out there. It's different, it's unique, and it's going to be unique with all of you. If this is dealing with a relationship or partnership, this could be your energy, Scorpio. This could be your partner sort of struggling with this. Someone is sort of struggling with their authenticity. Uh, I don't think it's all that sort of dramatic, uh, Scorpio. It's just what's what sort of brings in this balance with you. This is something that you do that actually makes you feel... Good. It makes you feel whole. It makes you feel complete. Probably something you've kept kept sort of to yourself for a while. This could be your spirituality. This could be the fact that you love to do video games or someone wants to uh, go do something fun and different. Some of you, this could even be around pentacle energy when it comes to work. Some of you could want to advance yourself. You could want an upgrade in what you do. 30, trust and act accordingly. Empress energy. There's This is a beautiful vibe, uh, Scorpio. For some of you, this is just sort of expressing it, right? Be it this your energy, Scorpio, or if you're in a relationship or partnership, right? Damn, whatever this is, take that inspiration and use it. For most of you, this almost feels like that yin-yang energy within you. So, I don't know, maybe some of y'all want to take a dance class or something. Some of y'all want to try something that's a little fun and different. But uh, the vibe on it could be a little weird, right? Oh, whatever it is. The world, the queen of wands, the three of wands, and the four of cups. This is an inspirational sort of thing with you that sort of kept you stuck. For a lot of you, I feel like this is single within you. I feel like you're single. You're just sort of focusing on yourself. This is that sort of yin-yang energy coming in. Take the opportunity, right? Send in your resume. Fill out for the competition. Take the fucking class. Uh, whatever this is with you. Because it actually could make you more well-balanced and more focused. Especially if that sort of yin-yang energy within you is sort of stuck. You know what I mean? 
I guess not really stuck. It's like bringing in that nice mix of masculine and feminine. Uh, this is the uh, uh, artist and the creator and the model all in one, right? Damn, Scorpio. The complexity here is beautiful, but it's it's pretty much the same. Someone is stuck or stagnant because there's like a there's this energy of authenticity. For some of you, it could be your religious beliefs, right? Sort of working that into your relationship or partnership. Some of you could meet somebody and you have different religious beliefs. So that could be something that you kind of have to work through. Uh, there's nothing really major here. It's kind of just stuck stagnant energy. What's your goal? What's your dream? What's this sort of opportunity that you'd like to sort of look into? Scorpio, this could be you. This could be the partner that you're with. I feel like this is a single Scorpio, but... Uh, we got the Emperor and Empress, and we got the King and Queen of Cups, so this could definitely be a partnership as well. Really feels like that sort of yin-yang energy. Damn, Scorpio. I love your complexity. I'm going to be on top this with Scorpios. There is an upgrade wanting to come in. I mean, it's an upgrade. So whatever this is, it's just, you know, switching it up a little bit. Coming soon. Welcome to the Ascending Age. If you're single, you might not be single for too long. Uh, allow this sort of change up around you. Damn. Now, if you're in a relationship, this could be your partner uh, wanting to sort of explore it's like a work opportunity. It's like an opportunity that allows them to sort of grow and expand. Um, I don't think it's really all that major, but someone may think it is. Someone may just want to do a tournament, uh, like video games, chess, whatever the fuck this is. Someone might want to do a game show and someone else might not like it. Some of y'all, there could be a sort of spiritual element on this. Someone wants to go to church. Someone don't want to go to church. Some of you could be meeting somebody and there is a difference of religion. So you're going to have to kind of figure out what that's even all about, right? I don't know. There's a good yin-yang mixture coming in. Stay focused, stay positive, and for fuck's sake, it, take the opportunity. Take the opportunity, have the discussion. Especially if it's really what's sort of inspiring you right now. It's inspiring, but it keeps you sort of stuck and stagnant. So, you know, talk on it, work on it, speak on it. Enjoy this vibe, because there's definitely a good connection here. So, damn, you know what I mean? Mm. Good luck, God bless, Scorpio. Take what's yours, leave what the fuck isn't. Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell if you are ever so inclined. Good luck, God bless. Take the fucking opportunity. Inspire your partner to if this is a sort of a couple's thing. You do it yourself. Beautiful yin-yang. This is a good working relationship and partnership, be it in a relationship or that sort of yin-yang, masculine, feminine within yourself. Good luck. God bless.